Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nenny. So, Andropic Judge Drug Claude Opus 4. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use it to generate smart, test specific AI agents um, right inside NHN. So, whether you're automating workflows, you're building boards, or you're scaling your business task, Claude Opus 4 takes things to the next level with faster reasoning and better responses. I want you through the entire setup from bomb design to real-time agent integration at M8N so that you can build your own AI-powered automation in minutes. This is also very helpful, especially if you're new to the world of uh, building AI agents and you're just getting started. I think this will be very helpful to you as well just because um, you don't need to start from scratch per se. You can just use pumps and then you'll be good to go. So let's let's get started. So the first thing is that you need to have Claude Desktop, of course, installed on your computer. Then once you come into your Claude Desktop, all you have to do is you just have to create a new project. And then you can give it the name. So maybe I'll just say AI Agent uh, Builder, something along those lines. And then you can just describe what you're trying to achieve. If I use ChatGPT to do this, um, if I just tell ChatGPT, for instance, I... I want to build an AI agent builder in Claude. Um, can you give me like, can you describe what a goal should be, um, et cetera. And then you just click on create project, okay? So once you create project, um, you'd come to this interface and what happens next is that you need to include a lot of like project knowledge, okay? So the thing about AI is it's as good as the information you give to it, right? You want to train the AI agent builder in such a way that they know the type of emitting with those that you're looking at building, they have an idea of what you want so that they can actually build it for you as well. There's this GitHub uh, repo that has like free M10 templates. They have about like 200 free M10 templates that you could import. They cut across different categories. So for instance, email automation, social media, finance, accounting, and productivity. They do have like so many like free templates. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to leave the link to this exactly pull as well in the description box or somewhere in the comment section so that you can um, navigate it easily and i'm little come in here and all i'm gonna do is click on code and then i'm gonna download this pen i'm little click on approved from device because i i'm looking to build something around social media i'm just gonna go into the social media folder and i'm just gonna import all these workflows that are here already and um, I did see that there was also a media folder. So I'm going to maybe use the media folder as well. So now, as you can see, we have a project knowledge base ready. Now, the next step is um, we want to ask Claude how it expects the structure of the pump to be so that I can deliver the type of uh, JSON file we need. And we want to make sure that all the connections and everything are intact. So we want to ask Claude to give us the structure it's expecting. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to be using this exact, um, this exact prompt as well in Clock. So in Claude, all I'm going to say is how best should I structure my prompts to get a free working AI agent workflow. And then I'm going to click on enter. Just make sure that you're working on that Claude Opus 4 because that's what we need in order to um, generate our um, AI agent. Okay, so we have, um, we have a response here. So as you can see, this is what it's asking. So it's giving us a guide. So it talks about like defining the core task clearly. Um, specify the data flow, um, choose your AI stack. So for instance, the LLM you need, um, if you need to do any embeddings, uh, define the agent's behavior. Um, and it gives you like an example prompt template. And then um, it also gives you like your concrete examples. So this is how it expects the prompt to look like. So this is a good guy. So all I'm gonna do is, and it also gives you some tips as well for success. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Click on copy and then I'm going to come into my text um, file here and I'm going to paste it in a text file. It could be in a doc or anything. I'm just using the text file because that's what I have on my computer. So I have the instructions in here and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to export as a PDF. So the next step is to come into ChatGPT. And then I'm going to upload the file from my computer and then I'm going to be using this exact prompt. Okay, based on the structure in this PDF attached, can you generate a prompt to generate an AI agent to auto post on Twitter and LinkedIn using 
OpenAI as the LLM and also make your RAM every day at 7 a.m. So this is this is all I'm going to do. And um, since this is just a tutorial, I'm just going as basic as I want to. I don't want to complicate this. So I'm just going to click on enter. Okay, so ChatGPT has also generated the prompts for us. And it's looking really good right now. So all I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to copy the prompt. And then I'm going to come back into Color Desktop. And then I'm going to paste this exact prompt in Color Desktop. So what I expect is a JSON file. This is how the prompt looks like. It says create an ANHN AI agent where proof for daily social auto booster that. And it tells you the trigger. It tells you the process same barrier using GPT for all. Meaning it tells you like the system role. So this is what's going to be in the system message. It tells you that we are not using any memory. It tells you how the structured JSON should be. And then we give like additional requirements. So if you've been posting on Twitter, that you know that there's like a limitation on characters. If you've been posting on LinkedIn, then best practices for 100, 600 characters. It also says that avoid duplicating the same exact message across both platforms. And then the tone phrasing should be adapted. So, I mean, you could also like include your own brand voice here so that it sounds personable but like i mentioned this is just this is a tutorial so i just wanted to be as basic as possible make sure that you're on cloud opus 4 and not cloud sonnet 4. so we are on cloud opus 4 and i'm just gonna click on enter as you then see this is writing the code out for us um this is really cool because if you are someone starting out trying to build AI agents and you have no idea on how to code, this is definitely a good place to start, okay? Because this um, cloud is sort of like giving you all the code you need. Every single thing you need, it's giving it to you. So I also see that this is also helpful, especially when you're ideating. So sometimes you may have like a project and it may seem very um, challenging to even kick off, right? But if you come in here, and you've already trained Claude that, okay, hey, Claude, this is like a example AI agent I've built, right? This is how I built it. Um, based on the example AI agent I've built, can you generate like similar workflow for this idea I have? And Claude is going to do that for you. So I think it's actually really cool. I'm really looking forward to when the entire code is done. And when I sort of actually like copy paste this into I am it in interface. What generation is complete now? So let's see what we have in here. So Claude actually created a schedule, a trade-off for us. And it's definitely going to scrap on 7 a.m. every day. It's also using OpenAI GPT-4 Mini, like we mentioned, um, for all like we mentioned, to generate the content. And then it does some valuation. So it checks by the character limit. Um, so that with Twitter, it's less than 280 characters. And LinkedIn, it's became 400 to 600 characters. And then it does, um, it auto goes the R&D to Twitter by the API V2. I've put the link being rather business API. I'm trying me how to change this. Um, it does some error handling. So for instance, if the content exceeds limits, then it generates with uh, stricter instructions and all errors are reported to Slack. And we also change it. Um, so these are things you could specify in your prompt and say that, okay, I want all my errors to be loaded into, let's say, a Google Sheet, or I want it to be reported via Telegram instead of Slack because I don't have API for Slack at the moment. And then in terms of like the setup, oh yes, and we are logging into Google Sheets, and in terms of the setup, it's given us like the requirements. So it's saying that since you're using OpenAI, then you need your OpenAI API key. You also need your Twitter or two credentials. You need your LinkedIn API. You need your Google Sheets API and you also need Slack API. And then in terms of Google Sheets, um, it's telling you that you need to create a Google Sheets with these columns, timestamp, uh, Twitter content, Twitter link, LinkedIn content, LinkedIn link, speed us. And then it's giving us additional options. So it's like, okay, if you need a human to review this, then let me know so that I can create a version that sends content to Slack for approval before posting, which is uh, which is really good. Or uh, maybe I may want it to do so in Telegram, but I'm first gonna test this first um, to see what we get, and then maybe I may ask it to, what you want if I want to have a human in the loop, but in this case, just send it to Telegram, what should I do? And then in case I want to add a girl social media platforms, for instance, uh, let's say Reddit or Instagram, Facebook, Threads, then I can do so. And it's like even giving me like 
ideas or how I can enhance my AI agent to maybe uh, content variation based on the day of the week, um, trending topic integration, and performance analytics integration, A-B testing. So I think this is definitely really good. So I've explained, we have our code, we had a, we have a JSON on Merdi. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on copy and then I'm going to go back into any it's end. I'm going to create a new flow and I'm, I'm just going to paste. Okay. So this is what we got from code. Okay. This is what we got from code. So let me walk you through how I think this should work. First of all, we have like background or a description of what it should do. So you're seeing that it just makes some ghost AI crafted content to Twitter and LinkedIn Bailey active in AM ESD. And it talks about the features, the fact that it's platform specific content generation and um, automatic posting to Twitter and lean beam. Um, it talks about like the fact that it enforces the character limit and also gives like your professional term adaptation. So this is how it works. Okay. So this is the Libeli trigger, trigger, spittle to run so am. And then we are using ChatGPT for all mini to generate the content. And um, we had defined some outputs. We wanted it to be in a specific JSON format. So yeah, passing that JSON response in here. And this is where we do the factor validation. So we are checking if um, if it's true, then it's going to push on Twitter and LinkedIn. And, and then it's going to issue a success uh, notification. But then if it's false, then it's going to put in a warning. It's going to say that um, something is happening in, in Slack. And it's also going to log it to Google Sheets and then issue an error alert as well. And then in the meantime, it will just regenerate the content. So it's actually working the way we expected it to. There's some error handling as well. So what I'm going to do right now is only, I'm just going to clean it app. Um, when I say clean it app, all I mean is I'm going to um, put in my API keys and, and everything. And I'm going to try and see if I test it, um, if it's going to work. I don't have APIs for Slack. And this is something I should have defined in my prompts that maybe instead of using um, Slack for error handling, maybe use uh, Google Handout. So I'm probably going to be swapping this out um, into Google Hangout. So um, that's all I'm going to be going to claim it up. Okay, so this is how it looks like after it's been cleaned up. Yeah, so I would encourage you to try it out. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, try it out and let me know how it goes for you. Let me know if you have any challenges um, with doing this in the comment section below. But I do think that it's a great way to build your own um, AI agents, especially if you are just starting out. And I've already done other tutorials on uh, AI agents. I have a Behema Flamby tutorial, which I'm going to leave on the screen here so that you can go check it out. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave your comment in the comment section below. Share and subscribe. Uh, all the good stuff. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.